hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to discuss about the burning topic in the market what is from for testing which is a recent uh, version or recent compatible version for automation testers released by chrome community to provide the liberty to the automation testers uh, to deal with uh, some some challenges which uh, like we used to get in the real real day time right real time so i'm now navigating to the location uh, where uh, the article has been posted this is a blog posted by chrome itself so uh, what used to happen and what were the real challenges with the standard browser so prior to having this chrome for like testing uh, like the chrome browser used to automatically upgrade and uh, which then uh, makes it difficult to uh, like compare the results between two executions because suppose for example you have executed your test cases on chrome 114 and automatically it got upgraded due to new version released by chrome and it upgraded to 115 and now it started failing so it is sometimes difficult to find out the actual cause of the issue so to avoid that what chrome has done chrome has now introduced chrome for testing so this is designed to solve these problems wherein like there won't be no auto update and corresponding to now what they have done they have uh, like released a new dashboard or new endpoint from where we can download the chrome browser for testing and the corresponding um, driver as well chrome exe as well as well as uh, the, like driver exe right driver binary right so we can get we can download the chrome exe from this location using this particular command so in order to use these commands we should have npm in our machine mod module i mean mod i mean and otherwise there is a dashboard provided by chrome community so we can use this particular dashboard so if you if i go to my uh, my system and look at this so this is uh, what i am using right this is one 115.0 so this is the version in my system so what i need to do i should have um, both the things first the chrome binary so i have you you just need to double click on this and copy paste here uh, open a new tab and uh, paste it here and hit it you will automatically download it right and then similarly you need to do the driver setup as well right and this way you will be able to download the driver as well as the chrome exe in my case i have already downloaded it so this is the location where i have downloaded right so you'll observe like chrome binary and that now i'm going to discuss about how to run it in uh, selenium okay so we can uh, like this is applicable for both and this is a temporary solution uh, for people those who want to use the latest version or chrome for testing browser but they are facing challenges right uh, due to like this chrome 115 issue and the endpoints changed by chrome right and they are unable to download Chrome 115, right? So now what I have done is uh, this is the extra parameter that we need to introduce from options dot set binary. So I'm now setting the exe location, the Chrome browser location, Chrome for testing location, and this is the traditional way of setting up the driver, right? And here I'm setting the exe. So this is the same location where I have downloaded the driver as well as the Chrome browser okay now what i'm doing um uh, similar to what we do we have driver, driver equal to new chrome driver i'm passing this from options right and then i'm doing driver.get http call google.com right so uh, i'll just uh, run it and you will see yeah So if you notice this particular uh, like icon color is different than this uh, this standard browser right so at a time like two versions of chrome can stay standard version which will keep on automatically or, or automatically update right while uh, this one uh, won't update automatically so if you look at it chrome for testing is only for automatic testing for regular browsing use standard versions of chrome that uh, that updates automatically so they, they have given this link as well so uh, i'm hoping selenium will soon provide the solution uh, in 4.11 they want in that case we won't have to provide this binary location and we won't have to do this uh, setup 
because they have selenium in as i and i i believe that they are going to provide that liberty to the users uh, to download the binary and setting it setting it up internally and then setting the chrome driver uh, exe location as well right and but yeah on top of it they might provide the option to select or uh, to download a particular from exe from browser for testing as a chrome driver for testing so this is what they might provide so we are waiting for the update as soon as the update is there i'll definitely going to provide the uh, like lecture on this i'll i'll be giving a solution on this so stay tuned for the next video this is it for now thank you